E flat major or C minor, which is, I guess, the right way to say it. C minor and E flat major are related to each other, right? So the song has basically three sections. There's the verse which goes, There's a fire, na 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 na, right? Then it has the pre chorus, the stars of goes on then the chorus has that eighth note piano pattern we could have had it all in the deep. right so let's basically go ahead and learn each section i guess we'll start with the chorus and then we'll try and backtrack to the verse which is quite interesting so every section you can have a different pattern to play on the uh, on the keyboard so let's first look at the chorus chords first of all the chords are c minor b flat rolling in the deep that's an a flat 7th or major 7th rather and the way i'm playing a flat major 7th is i'm playing a c minor in my right hand and an A flat in the left hand. So it's sort of like a C minor with an A flat bass. And what that does is you have an extended chord, which has four notes in it, right? So that's the chord they use for the chorus. So it's basically C minor, B flat, we could have had it, or A flat major seven, A flat, B flat, C. So just remember that the A flat chord happens for 4 plus 2. So that's A flat, 3, 4, A flat, B flat, right? So let's do it with the left hand. We could have had all B flat rolling in the deep. A flat, A flat, B flat, C minor, and your head B flat, and you played it A flat. A flat, B flat. So it's essentially the same chord progression which gets repeated into two. That's C minor, B flat, A flat major seventh, A flat major seventh, B flat major. It's a, it's a sum total of about three unique chords. I'll tell you the words at which it comes. We could have had it all. all. So all has two chords. Rolling in the deep, deep, deep. I had my heart inside side. your head and you played it that's A flat played it to the beat and then it goes to the verse now on the piano what we do is you basically have this nice thumping 8th note pattern and the left hand plays the bass notes of each chord essentially the name of the chord so C minor C B flat major, B flat, and so on. We could have had it all rolling in the deep. So you just have two chord shapes in the right hand essentially C minor, B flat major, again C minor because it's A flat major seventh, right? And then B flat major. Let's do that again with the rhythm. Also, the accents are on one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. That'll sound very groovy. Try to get that and also use your wrist to get a nice accent going. One, two, one, two. One, two. Oh, rolling in the deep. I had Let's do that again with the left hand. And then it goes to the verse. However, I've written down like a post chorus 2 thing here. What that basically means is the chorus happens a sum total of, uh, well, a lot of times in the song. So there's chorus 1. Right after chorus 1, it goes back to verse 1. So chorus 2, on the other hand, goes to like a bridge 
before that a cappella clapping part right there's a verse which is just clapping and a cappella so let's look at the post chorus chords which are very easy the same a flat major 7th which you learn b flat c minor b flat a flat a flat b flat b flat so it's the same chords just a different ordering if you ask me so the chorus will end we could have had it all rolling in the deep you had my heart inside your head and you played it and you played it and then you had it all so that's a flat major 7th b flat c minor b flat na 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 a flat major 7th a flat and then goes to that clapping a cappella part right so now we have the next section which is the pre chorus i'm just going like uh, before in time so the pre chorus chords are a flat na na b flat na na g minor na na a flat na 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 a flat na na b flat na na g minor g major So that's a very interesting transition. You have a G minor at the end, and then a G major, which is actually out of the key. It sort of makes it the C harmonic minor scale for a short while there. And G takes you very well to the C minor chorus. G minor doesn't pull you as hard as G major does. So. that's a very interesting compositional thing there so you have uh, a flat b flat na na g minor da na a flat i'm thinking on oh, no, no. so there's like a ghost b flat as well which only the pianist plays so a flat 2 3 4 b flat 2 3 4 g minor 2 3 4 a flat 2 3 4 1 So this is actually at the end of the bar at the four, and then it goes to the same thing almost A flat, B flat, G minor, G major. Okay, so that's the difference in line in the first cycle. It's A flat ending. Second cycle is G major ending because they are going to the chorus. Okay, so let's look at this now with the left hand. minor always the roots in the left hand a flat so when you do that additional ghost b flat here you don't need to change the bass note in the left hand so that's a flat na na b flat na 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 g minor na a flat na na a flat na na b flat na na g minor na na g major we could have had it all. right so that's the pre chorus another way you could perhaps play the pre chorus is with an eighth note passage in the left hand just to make it a little bit more uh, punchy and just hold the right hand let me do that a bit slower so as of your b flat na na g minor na na a flat b flat a flat na na b flat na g minor g build up volume and then the chorus where you do play that higher around this region is good okay and lastly you have the verse section so the verse section i've actually written it out here but i'm going to show you this after i teach you like a like a basic version so you guys don't get confused so the verse you can go with these chords C minor 
G minor B flat major G minor B flat major so that's there's a fire C minor starting in my heart G minor na 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 B flat major bringing me out the B flat so the last ending G B flat so C minor ta na na G minor B flat 2 3 4 G B flat so the ending you do G and B flat quickly so that will work really well but as you hear in the original you have like a guitar going right there's that unique pattern so we can get a bit of that as well on the piano by playing what we call as power chord so this is like a common power chord so the power chord is built with the root of that chord then the fifth of the chord and then you can add the op- optional octave which i'm for now not doing so you can do so basically you can keep that fifth chord thing pumping let's see again c fifth g b flat another thing to realize is your chords are c g you don't hit the g at the on beat you hit it at the off beat and that's what i've written down here 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and so the way you count it is c 2 3 4 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 So basically every chord other than the C minor chord or the C fifth chord is all at the end of the one or there's one chord at the end of the three. So let me show that again with you only the left hand and I'll try and hum along. There's a fire starting in starting so at the ting of the starting you have to play the G. There's a fire starting in my heart reaching the and then you can hold the chords at the top end in the right hand chorus right another thing you could do on the piano if you're finding it difficult to play the fifth chord or if you just don't like it maybe the guitarist is doing it himself so you can just go down below and play like a super low root of each chord uh and do the eighth notes in the right hand Let's just recap the verse section. You have three patterns. Pattern number one is the simple starting off one, where you do Z five. Start. Just hold the chord, G minor, B flat, na 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 na, G minor, B flat. Right. Just holding. The second pattern is where you do power chords, and the right hand just holds. Last but not least, if you like that deep sound, you can play super low roots of the chord and try to do the eighth note here. At the off, possibly, and you.
you need to make sure your entire band is doing that off thing otherwise it may not sound too cool and at the end of the song we could have had it all be na 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 your head and you played it and you played it to the beat so basically you do like a c minor to the beat and that's pretty much it right and then they do like a the stuff uh like a weird run like that which I guess you could avoid if you want, right? So that's "Rolling in the Deep" by Adele. Three sections: verse, pre-chorus, and chorus. Really cool song to play on the piano. It has all sorts of parts. In fact, there's a different piano line, rhythmic line for every section, right? Really cool chords, great rhythm pattern, and also don't forget that there's a post-chorus, which happens only post-chorus number two, before that clapping a cappella part. right so hope you guys have found the tutorial useful and if you have any doubts do leave them out in the comments and we'll be happy to help cheers